Hi! Welcome to the 8th video about creating a chatbot and to end on the example of a CityQuest bot. So the most of our chatbot is ready. In the previous series I described the stages of getting the idea, preparing the contents, choosing tools, building the flow in chat fuel for a separate quest task, and also implementing some more advanced functions, and also uh, described creating several webhooks for the bot on Node.js. Namely, we implemented custom redirects, estimated time a user spends doing the task, and also using Google Vision API we provided primitive interpretation of images uploaded by a user. Uh, we still need to create six more blocks in ChatFuel for the remaining questions using question 1 as a template. But that's more a copy-pasting work that needs just time and attentiveness. In this video we will be working in chat fuel and with webhooks. And we will firstly add an intro block with rules and some story. Secondly, confirm if user's device is able to send images, which will be needed to finish the quest. And thirdly, we will add a live chat. If you are building your own quest, you will need to think on and prepare the contents for this intro block. So let's go to chat fuel and in the group quest general, let's add a new block called intro. There we will add a card set user attribute with attributes QName set to check quest and pre block name intro. then typing, and then we will greet the user using his or her first name. Next, typing. Your help is needed. One big company lost a password to an important server with financial information. Admin went on vacation to Thailand and lost. Next, some GIF. Then typing. Fortunately, there is still a chance to regain access to the server. The admin loved puzzles and encrypted the password as a series of riddles around the city. Typing. Text cut. Complete this quest and collect your password faster than others. And here we will add a button with title rules and conditions. This button will lead to the next new block called rules. Here we will describe the rules. Before, but, but before that we will add a card set user attribute with prev block name rules. Next typing and then uh, we will add a number of blocks with rules. I tried to be short here, but still there are quite several blocks to add. And finally, we, would, uh, we will add typing. If you agree with the above conditions, please click the following button. Uh, with title I agree, leading to the next block, Tech Rex Intro. Tech Technical Requirements Intro. In this block, we will set user attribute brief block name to the name of the block. Then we will add typing and a text card excellent. Typing. To participate in this quest you need to be able to send photos from your device. Then typing. Let's check this. And a redirect to the block tech rex. And here we will add another webhook. Uh, using and use part of the logics we, which we earlier prepared for interpreting photos. 
Now we will check if user can send a photo at all. First, let's add a set user attributes card with the following attributes test photo equal to not set, proof block name equal to tech rex, photo URL OK, and response for image set to not set. Then typing save user input uh, with the text please send any photo from your device, and user's response will be saved to the attribute test photo. Next we will add a card JSON API type post URL our base URL slash if photo URL and we will pass our test photo attribute. After this request we should have an attribute photo URL OK set either to 1 if user sent a photo or to 0. So we will add a redirect to the block tag rex ok if photo url ok is 1 or we will send a user back to this same block tag rex. Let's go to Glitch and write the corresponding webhook. In server.js, let's add a new app post method to handle requests to endpoint if photo URL. Let's set default values for photo URL OK and response for image variables. And we will respond to chat fields setting these attributes. Then we will add a try catch block and inside of it uh, we'll get the test photo value from RegBody. Then we will check if it includes the string https slash slash as content, which as we suppose should indicate that user sent a photo. And in case it contains such a substring, we will set photo URL OK to 1. Next, we will call our existing function getImageLabels, this time in a async and await style. We will check if any labels are returned, and if yes, we will set the response for image variable uh, equal to mm, and our first label. Now back to chat fuel. In the block tag rex ok, we will add typing and then text card with response for image attribute. Then typing and text so you are ready for the quest. Typing. To start, please click the following button. And we will add a quick reply button with title start leading to the block Q start. For now, Q start will have only a redirect to the block reset attributes, which we created earlier. Let's add a small update to this block by unsubscribing users from Q1 sec sequence. Let's test this part of functionality by triggering intro block in Messenger. And finally, let's add a live chat, which we promised to users in the rules. This is quite easy. 
Let's add a new group, live chat, in which we will add a block live chat. Uh, we will set chat timeout to 4 hours and we need to subscribe to notifications from this chat. Uh, let's test this part too. And this is it for this series. In the following video, we will work with the API of Airtable to store users, data and their score to calculate user's position in the final rating after user finishes the quest. See you in the next video.